Hey everyone, Rob here from Rising Edge Industries, and um, this will be a quick overview video of um, a kind of lab-based platform for the data recorder line. We provide the DR500 line, and um, and we've developed this platform in-house and um, for customers so that uh, it it provides much more ease of use. It's based on an optical breadboard that's 300 by 300 millimeters with a M6 bolt pattern here two handles so it's easier to carry around and the purpose of this is to break out the um, smaller uh, solder header interfaces of the data recorder um, one so you don't have to solder to it uh, it's much easier to use and it's all um, adaptable uh, with um, uh, plug-in cards and um, cable harnesses and we'll go through all of this and set this up connect everything together but the general concept is to conveniently break out this I.O. without without customers needing to solder to any of these um, and it and then that those interfaces are then broken out to a very like a lab test equipment friendly uh, PCB with uh, multiple interfaces um, test points um, and um, inputs to the system from a, uh, uh, signal generators, um, anything from accelerometers, strain gauges, um, standard rectangular headers for either input or um, signal monitoring. Um, and then we also have a custom connector here for terminating accelerometers in-house. Um, we, uh, we do our own accelerometer cable terminations with a small PCB that's connectorized and um, so we'll touch on all of this when we go over each interface um, here for each channel and so this is just just kind of a main overview of uh, what it is what its purpose is um, how it can be beneficial in a uh, lab or test facility setting and um, and also provides um, much more the, the recorder with this platform can provide much more value to customers because it doesn't have to be used as a high shock only or um, flight only type of data acquisition unit and so um, so we'll assemble this quick um, the kit comes with the adapter cards for the data recorder interfaces here um, two cable harnesses this whole plat this platform um, all of the accessories to assemble it, this PCB of interface um, uh, to increase interface capabilities and then um, a set of mounting hardware to mount the recorder and we'll start with that right now just so you can kind of see how it goes together and um, the intent behind um, uh, using this. And so we'll start with by just bolting down the recorder here um, you can bolt this down anywhere and so for this we'll just lightly tighten these um, and this is assembly hardware is mainly just to hold the unit in place so none of this moves so there's no risk of breaking anything or something sliding off or not being fastened properly we don't want any any damage to the unit or any of these accessories so we've got these bars with M6 bolts here that we can tighten the unit down lined up um, line it up so that she has a serial number on the bottom so you can see what what unit you have set up here um, so now just tighten this up a little bit with an Allen key And so now that's fastened, it's not going anywhere, you can carry this around. Um, and so the next step is to install the I.O. cards here for our plug and play approach. Um, and so the first card is installed for the digital board and that's installed here. They're just through hole headers on the bottom. This is a standard right angle um, connector. Uh, to with a matching cable harness and um, then we installed the analog card and these are a little snug um, they're designed that way intentionally so just work it in um, carefully and so now with these two cards um, all the signals are broken out um, 
to these connectors. So now there is no reason to be uh, soldering anything. You don't you don't have to. So in a lab, we can now plug in our cable harness assemblies um, to these two interfaces here and our interface here, and then plug these into our I/O board here at the end. And so once these are installed, now all of the I.O. from the uh, data recorder production unit interface is now cabled out to a uh, breakout board here that makes it much easier to work with the um, much easier to work with um, the signal inputs and outputs and some of the control. Like we also have power enable, um, a button for triggering, so you don't have to wire up your own button or trigger that's all conveniently located many probe points on here as well so so the next part is to talk a little bit about um, what is on this interface card here and so um, like I briefly mentioned there are power test points um, sensor biasing there's power enable button and a trigger button just for ease of use and so we've got channels you know one through four here all broken out and then they all have multiple parallel interfaces so the first one is a SMA interface there's a right angle inputs here and this is generally intended for signal generators lab laptop signal generators and these are all the same so there's a input um, right after that both uh, P and N positive and negative differential signals uh, run into these they run through vertical SMA connectors that can be connected out to an oscilloscope for monitoring and uh, in-house we generally use something like an SMA to BNC here so you've got BNC on one end and um, SMA connectors on the other end here and so the SMA would just screw into these and you can run this out run these cables out to test equipment um, really convenient it isn't intended for sensors really but it is intended for signal generators oscilloscopes uh, and common test equipment so the the next interface um, is actually a really useful interface this is used a lot in house as well so this is a little micro connector that we use to um, we'll, and we'll have high resolution images of all of this on the blog post so f feel free to find a link in the description and go check out uh, some of these visually in more detail with higher resolution images, but we've got uh, a micro connector here, uh, very small, it's uh, eight pins, and um, this micro and this terminal block, they have both all, both of these connectors carry standard, they have I.O. to carry standard um, accelerometer and other sensor signals that um, consist of uh, sensor biasing or V bias or the excitation voltage it's sometimes called for an accelerometer a ground for that the positive and negative differential signals um, and then the shield so there's five so these both have um, five signals and silk screen the terminal blocks labeled in this it would be in the user's manual but for the micro connector this is kind of our accelerometer termination connector and it mates up to a small termination card here it's a small PCB with uh, the mating connector and the purpose of this that has been really helpful for us here for build production um, and development is that this little adapter card has the mating connector and then we use um, service mount pads to terminate the cable harness of the accelerometer and then there's two vias for uh, strain relief and epoxying the cable harness to the end of the card while the the internal wires of most of these harnesses are very delicate and so those are soldered down here on the surface mount pads then we strain relief the back of the cable and that runs to a standard uh, mini connector that mates with this one so uh, what's really nice is once the accelerometers are terminated for lab use and and non flight testing this just plugs in um, it's a very clean reliable approach and um, it removes the headache of working with extremely delicate small wires from the accelerometer um, from the accelerometer cable harness so the cable would run out of here this we'll, we'll have a video to cover this in more detail um, and you can find you know these cards um, on our website as well but 
that's the purpose of this connector. It's not required, but it's just another option, um, and it's extremely handy for us, so we want to provide that to customers. Um, and so the, the next um, interface point is a terminal block. This is just a standard terminal block. You can connect up anything um, manually and just screw it down. And um, and so it doesn't have to be an accelerometer. The the in the terminals are labeled on a silk screen, and so this one has it's six. It's got two grounds. Um, one can be used for shield, um, a regular ground, the P and N for the differential sensor signals, and then excitation voltage or a V bias. Um, and so this is this is just the general input, but can be used for all different accelerometers so you have the freedom to manually connect up pretty much anything you want here you also have the freedom to connect up anything that you want here as well um, these this set of rectangular headers is a uh, V bias which is labeled VCCH so one thing to note is that um, you can use the high precision voltage rail for sensor biasing that comes out of the unit is a VCCH and so these V bias signals actually are the units um, high precision voltage rails so so when I say excitation voltage or VCCH um, for this platform it's generally intended to be the uh, precision the the biasing voltage from the actual data recorder this this data recorder line can bias the sensors directly um, if if it's not if that's not intended you don't have to use that but that's generally um, it's pretty common so that's built into this design so so for the rectangular headers we've got on um, VCCH high precision voltage rail for excitation voltage sensor biasing the uh, two accelerometer signals PNN differential signals a ground and then a shield and the shield can either be enabled or disabled with a jumper here um, there's a lot of freedom here on this board can actually be modified easily by customers it's low cost and um, and everything's very accessible so if there was some exotic configuration um, there should be no issue and any kind of custom wiring or modifications to this too so so there's really four interfaces there's the SMA for signal generator and, and lab equipment coax BNC lab equipment there's a um, uh, little micro connector for um, terminating accelerometer and other sensor harnesses in a very like small clean way that uses this uh, mating adapter card strain relief the cable harness solder everything down it's, uh, it's very clean very reliable and it also um, extends the life of the accelerometer cable harness so you don't have to solder it in somewhere cut it out and um, every time it's implemented the cable harness length shrinks um, so we've got that there's a standard terminal block um, just for any kind of general use as well as uh, rectangular headers here exposed for um, either signal input or signal monitoring and so the four interfaces on each channel input here are also all paralleled so um, you can inject the signal into any one of these interfaces and monitor it from any one of these interfaces so you know, for example, if you had an accelerometer terminated, terminated with this card, you could connect the scope into the SMAs. You could connect a scope into uh, the si any signal points on the rectangular headers, um, or even the rectang or even the terminal block. So there's a lot of freedom in both um, signal injection and um, signal monitoring with test equipment. And so the next um, the next quick item to mention is that. Um, this, this optical breadboard, um, it's a little bit oversized, and a custom one could be that smaller could be provided. Um, but I think in a lot of cases for us, this um, extra area is a good <coughs> prototyping area. Um, allows, you know, for us, we implement um, either bed of nails production and calibration, PCBs, electronics fixtures here, they're all in one area. It's a very stable platform mechanically. Um, and it provides a lot of freedom. You can do mechanical fixtures for sensors here. Um, you know, it just provides a lot of freedom. And the other thing that's great, if if you if there is any interest in adding um, custom customer 
um, electronics and PCBs here that you want to interface either in the middle of this link or to one of these boards or to the recorder in a cleaner way you can you can do that use the same connectors um, all this information is available the pinouts and the part numbers and actually just pull these from our IO board and plug these in over here for your custom electronics application so you, you can either go recorder into your custom board um, or you can do, do your custom board um, you can interface your custom board to this um, to this IO board right here we have so you can pull these out remove the data recorder and plug these into any any custom hardware you might have um, or just um, you know one thing that's also common is to just use this to mount sensors keep this all on one platform very clean approach and um, uh, I recommend going through our other detailed videos on the actual data recorder, but this can bias and provide everything required um, um, in, in basically a closed loop manner so that you don't need external power, external test equipment if you if you don't want to use it. So you could you could add a fixture to mount accelerometers, uh, wire those in here any way you, you'd like, or spin your own board and connect up to um, these cable harnesses to interface into the unit and this would be one closed loop self-contained little platform um, all the way from the accelerometer to the data acquisition and the interface to this is um, is our standard ruggedized cable assembly here it's a USB 2.0 link um, cable assembly and so this comes with uh, with a data recorder it doesn't come with this platform the data recorder and cable are separate, but everything else you see comes with this platform. Um, with, um, and so this plugs in the exact same way. So the the microD connector plugs in here, our standard microD interface, right up on top of the analog board breakout card here, and then this plugs into the uh, workstation and connects up to our um, standard configuration software application and so <clears throat> this is this pretty much is a good overview we'll stop here it covers the um, intent and the use and the um, assembly of this platform um, where it might add value where where it came from or some of the main drivers is to is really to provide or improve the ease of use and um, convenience of this unit and expand its value by allowing customers to um, use it in different areas not just high shock and flight but even when you are implementing this for a high shock or flight environment there's still a test and calibration procedure um, it's also a good training platform if you are new to this line of data recorders and any of our products this is a great platform uh, to buy with the units and get up and running and test the units become comfortable with the units and so if you're interested please contact us through our website and uh, we can provide a quote either for um, the recorders cables um, and also this kit this breadboard platform kit um, so feel free to reach out also if you have any questions you can uh, leave them in the video or message us on our website thanks for watching and uh, Feel free to check out any of our other videos on our YouTube channel.